to the 2016 Oz Comic Con. <laughs> we are judges. I'm Melissa, the Artful Dodger. I'm Ray, the Cat. Alright, so we're going to be judging your cosplay comic book. We're not going to be judging. These are our judges. So we have Major Sam cosplay here. Yeah. Hello. And we have Absolutely Barry. beautiful. Variable. How is everybody? <laughs> Sweaty. It's I don't know if it's like nerds or anything. We've got a lot of really cool cosplay and we're kind of back and having a look at everything. And everyone looks like they should be sweaty, but I feel like I'm sweaty. So anyway, the air conditioning here, right here, is actually it's pretty great. It's pretty good. Cool. Who's gone down to those vents down there where you can like do some wicked cloak floating things? Anyone done that? Who's in cosplay? Show, show your hands who's in cosplay. Right. Oh, I see awesome. some fruity great cosplays I'm on this side of the room. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Who's in pretty nice ones in the middle of the room? Yeah, hey, ladies, I always wear it. Who did their cosplay in one week? Who took them one week to make their cosplay? Yeah. <laughs> you don't get out of that. She took one week to make her cosplay and she looks insane. All right, okay. who was finishing cosplays last night? Yes, yes. Who is finishing yes. cosplay yes. today? I see you there. You're, you're not alone. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, we got some really, really, really cool stuff to show you guys. So yeah. I'm pretty excited. So let's kick off. Let's get into it. So first up, Ray. Yes. Do you want to take this? All right, all right. This one, I like had a massive fan girl at Runs Back. This is one of my favorite games. Oh, it's up. Uh, we've got Big Daddy as the character of Big Daddy from the game Bioshock. It's all handmade. Mm. All of it. And it lights up! Oh my gosh! Please welcome Big Daddy! Okay, okay, the big comes. reveal, the big reveal. Are you ready to put your hands together? Oh, Big Daddy! Oh! Wow, this is insane. Yeah. Come to center stage. Come on down. Yeah. He's getting there, don't worry. I'm going to... Place, so I'm just going to retire now because you know there's no hope for any of us. How long did it take you guys? Is it team effort? Yes, uh, six months. Six months? Six months. Six like an everyday months. type of deal? Uh, no, it was on and off, like over the weekend, Tuesdays, whenever we could. Basically, yeah. I said, it's good effort. So what? What is it predominantly made out of? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, expanding foam. Expanding foam is everybody's friend. And yoga mats. Do, do you find it's really awful? Like, you know when you're halfway through an expanding foam tube and then the tube gets filled up with expanding foam and then you're going to buy a new tube? Yes. And also when they don't come with the little doodles on the end, like the needles. Terrible. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, what was sort of the hardest component? Like, this is obviously electronics in there as well. 
Oh. Probably the drill, because it has to move. <laughs> you ever done animatronics before? <laughs> That's like a phenomenal, phenomenal event. All right, one more big round. Yeah, big round. One big round. That's his um, an impressive way to start Same. the competition, let's be honest. He's got some big shoes to fill. Oh, oh did you see that? Oh, did that, oh, that was bad. I'm gonna yeah, take a second out of you. Uh, <laughs> all right, do you wanna take this one? Yeah, yeah, so, so, I'm really sorry if I put you this one. I can see why you gave me this. Uh, that's Orexia cosplay. Uh, the character is Jane and Mahan. Oh, sorry, Dragon Age Oh. Clearly not a game I've played in depth, and I do apologise, it is on my list to play. <laughs> uh, but, please give it up for the two lovely cosplayers, Yoo! right now! Yeah, but yeah, get together! Uh, this is um, the Rift Mark from Dragon Age Inquisition, so all Inquisitors have one. Uh, what's it sort of, what's it, is it transfer wobbler? Um, it's thermoplastic, so I it just melted it down with a heat gun and sat there trying not to burn my fingers while I shaved it. I like, so you got the same LED in the, in the globe. That one's a finger light from like a cheap store, this one I ordered off eBay and it only just came. So, and this is actually, this Last is a pool noodle, so... <laughs> You wouldn't guess it. <laughs> What's the stuff on the stuff? Um, it's just when I just had a little hand tool and I just carved at it to make it look like a tree. Instead of going out to my backyard and doing a smart thing and getting a tree branch. <laughs> and actually getting a tree branch. No, it looks fantastic. You've done a fantastic job there. This isn't your first cosplay, uh, but it looks fantastic, ladies. You clearly have some skill there. Uh, so, what is your favourite part about your costume? Um, yeah. Jeff. 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 Jeff.
So you might notice we have Ariel here as well. She did actually change into Ariel because we felt it was more fitting because somebody's been sick. Yes. Oh, I'm on the tail end. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, All so right. now we have King Julian. So we can welcome the freaks. <laughs> Hello, freaks. Wait, I've seen the species before. I think they're called cosplayers. Are you sure, Wood? Mm-hmm. Cosplayers. Ugh. Whatever happened to the separation of the classes? <laughs> oh, very well then. I have a song for all of you. You are all very lucky. Feel free to join in and dance. For I have decreed that any lima that can't grind booty to the floor is dead to me. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. Before you did that first bit with the. What are you talking about? We don't have that in Madagascar. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. King Julian, answer some questions, please. So I know this is your natural habitat, but. <laughs> when you made this first suit, how long would it have taken you? I grew this first suit on my back. Uh, so it took. How many years am I? I have five lever years. Took five years to uh, make this. Uh, that's, a, that's a long time. And the dance! How long did it take you to learn the dance? It comes to me quite naturally. Uh, <laughs> no practice. Would you say that you are physically fit? <laughs> hands up if you're attracted to me! Yes, I think everybody's hands needs to be up. <laughs> Wait, how do I? Oh! Can you do one more, like, dancey? Twirl thing. That would be cool. We'll yeah, get do the dirty dancing thing again, please. You please. got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Give it up for Alfred King Julian. King Julian. Oh. Oh. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I feel so exotic now. Right. I know. Right. That, that was a bit of fun. I love that. I like that. It's good. I'm going to go home and watch Dirty Dancing now. Okay, next. I want to go home and watch Madagascar. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I'm I don't know, I'm just Alright, anyway, back on topic. Right. Uh, now, we have Hustle Stage Name as Patekin, uh, who are two lovely people who uh, many of you will know as well. Uh, cosplaying as Padme Amidala and Anakin Skywalker. Oh so please give it up for the King and the Queen. I want to have a look at this hemming actually. So the hemming is very, very nice. It's very nice. How long so how long did you say it took you, right? This one was a month and a half because we rehemmed it, we tucked it, actually sewed everything on. Is it different? Like when you're watching the movie, do you find that it's difficult to drape it the way you sort of thought it would drape? There are no reference images for this dress. And alright, so Anakin, hello, hello. Let's have a look. Tell me more about this thing of beauty. It's just beautiful. <laughs> there are no, words. no words to describe it. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. Awesome. Can you tell me anything? Any particular difficult bits? Leather. <laughs> Hands up who's worked with leather. Hands up who also hates it. There we go. So that was the hardest one. This would not so. Does it get caught? You find that the birds there some of the same it up. Looks insane. Looks insane. Take it up the yes, channel. Take a bit of a yeah. bow front and centre. Woo! Woo! Very large girl. Oh, oh. And heels, bow and heels. Guys, give us some love. Yeah. Bow and heels, that's not easy. That's not easy. Oh my goodness, show the judges what you got now. Very, very nice. Now, I'm very curious about this bow. How did you construct this bow? Because it looks like paper bark. Wow! So, actual paper mark stuck individually onto a wooden core. That is intense. How long did that take you? Um, part of a week, just working on the something. Excellent. Well, again, effort pays off. It looks fantastic. How long work? Yeah, how long did the whole costume take you? Month in the end, it's on and off. I like the glittery it is. Um, the warbler work is legit. Do you, like, do you prefer working with warbler or fabric, or what's your preference? Um, warbler, this is my first time working with warbler, so that was an experience. But I would probably prefer working with foam and you know, fabric and yeah. No, it's good. That's good. What was the hardest part? Um, drafting all the patterns for the dress and the corset and everything it was all from scratch. So. Trying to keep it all in like proportion sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. Did you have the bow like in, abnormally large or anything, or did it come out pretty good? The first one was like taller than me. It's like, oh, it's very ridiculous. Gonna <laughs> tone that down a bit. Like takes oversized to a whole new level. No, that's awesome. The braces are actually, I really like the braces. Are they um, are they leather or are they what's, what's the go? Leather painted and hand stitched. 
little bit leather wagon. Awesome. Excellent. Well, if you would like to take a step forward, showcase your fabulous costume. Everybody give a round of applause. Actually, I'll just get you to spin round just to see the detail on your back as well, because it's beautiful. It's really good. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much, Corey. Wanted, we have Medley and Ganondorf. Oh, Ganondorf! Yes, absolutely. I'm sure there's a fair few of you in the audience who are the, uh, sorry, Legend of Zelda fans, so give them a big round of applause, please. Yeah. Alright, let's just step forward so they can see all parts of your costume. I think really And I see you've dabbled in a bit of body painting. How long did that take you to get all the gold and the green sort of mixing like you have got them? Realistically, an hour? I'd agree with that. Body painting, not easy, but you've got your highlighting like on fleek, man. It looks amazing. Um, rest of your costume as well. I love the block colours. It looks fantastic. How long did the whole costume take you? Uh, about three months. Were you going for like a John Howard look when you went for those eyebrows or like what was, because like they're legit man, they're like really good, they're really, it was like kind of pretty severe, I wanted to look angry, but casually, casually. resting, yeah, yeah. it's a good yeah. resting yeah. and face, angry face, angry face, I like it's it. good, and you're, what's that mean out of, oh sorry, craft phone, yeah, yeah. 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 Very uncomfortable. Yeah, I feel like I sound a bit nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off the back of a bad head cold. Yeah, that's no, good. good. The hardest of like the boot wrap things look interesting. Were they difficult or? No, they were pretty easy. The thing you bought me was the handbody on my tablet. I did it all by hand. And whoa, uh, total time on that? I have no idea. I watched a lot of movies. <laughs> Had to put it in like seasons of like, I don't know, Naruto. How many seasons of Naruto would it take to embroider this bodice? Maybe six seasons of Monster. They're long episodes. That's good. All right. Well, all right. take a step forward. Yeah, take a step forward take first so they can see all that beautiful detail. Give us a bit of a spin as well too with some lovely embellishments on the back of your cloak there. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you. Alright, give it up for Medley and Gandalf. Alright. Alright, we're Sorry. feeling good? We're feeling good? Yeah? We're feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's yeah, it. Noise. Noise is good. Noise is good. Alright, alright, let's so. continue. Um, next up, we have May King cosplay as Queen Amidala. A different version than the one we saw before, but just as fantastic. So let's welcome her to the stage, please. that I cut out out of 10 meters of chiffon, cut them individually, paint them, double gathered, sewed them. <laughs> but I bet it was a long process. It is absolutely, <laughs> the drape on that is fantastic. And just turn around for us. Is that ombre, are they different dyes or is that? They're yellow and pink. I oh, love it. I love yeah, it. The whole experience of this dress up close is amazing. 
Tell me about the, uh, the back of this piece. This is a wire structure, which I made with uh, music wire and craft wire, you know. Uh, two sheets of chiffon, which I pinned on and then handed very carefully to get the right kind of tension on it. It looks amazing. And the embellishments, are they hand-painted? If you took yes, the, a bit of glitter glue. Never goes a myth. Um, it looks amazing. Did you want to stand forward and let the judges have a look? Look at I think I was legitimately seeing that at the fashion show. I like how the tension's not sort of gone out of it. Like, did you find it slapped off a little bit? It's been pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome. All right, thank you so much. Give a big hand. Playing as uh, cosplaying as Kiki from Slippery. Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh my gosh, she's tiny. Give it Please up, guys. Give, give her the it biggest up. round of applause. Absolutely fantastic, and you made it all yourself. Your dad made it. Oh, my oh, darling. Well, you look very, very cute, and I'm just absolutely in love with your costume. This room is so big. I'm welcome. It's a room hard to hold. Is it heavy? No. You're very strong, then. Did you want to turn around one more time so that everybody can have a look at you? Yes. A great post con experience. Hi, <laughs> Mum. Sorry, half my face is missing. Some zombies. Oh, good. Here they come. I mean, they're not quick. Oh, oh I'm a bit nervous now. They do kind of share this decision. Is it if you stand still, they like, can't see you, or I'm thinking of something else? Jurassic Park, maybe? Maybe? Oh, okay. yes. All right, I'm tell me, tell me some things. Rex. Your lens is not legit. <laughs> tell me about your prosthetics. Um, it took me two and a half hours for the two of us, and it's a lot harder to destroy clothes than you think it is. <laughs> I don't know, I've got a 12 year old brother who would disagree with that, but maybe. Depends how destroyed you want her. But yeah, so where did you source your lenses from? You guys can't see this up close, but if we step forward, maybe the judges can see. The lenses are actually really legit. Um, they're like a blood veiny, really disgusting sort of white lens. Where did you source those ones from? Cosmetics Plus. Wow, oh, excellent. They're stepping up their game. I like it. Yeah. So um, I guess your fans in the Walking Dead then. Big question. Daryl or Carol? Oh, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that no, was on him. I'd agree with that. Yeah. yeah, did you want to give us a bit more of a shamble? Yes. See the fancy 
your costume. Bit of a snarl. Come on, I'm a snarl below. I don't really want to see that. Why do we encourage you? Oh, they're coming. She's coming over. They've really got that staggery sort of. She's really eyeing up the jugular, dude. Like, I just. <laughs> Exclamation cosplay as Yuna Berserker from Final Fantasy X2. Talk about it another creepy cosplay. Oh, great! Let's give it up for Yuna Berserker. Actually, let's hand a bit of a swap. It looks like we've got Kawaii Mali as Raihu, the Shinigami. Who knew? Maybe Raihu's cosplay as. Like crab, don't look at it. But like um, the thing that I put my heart and soul into is this latex mask. Um, it took me uh, so much time. I've never worked in latex or plaster and stuff like that before, so it was a big challenge for me. But it was um, I'm really happy with the end result. And then if you want to learn how I make this mask, I have a tutorial that I put up on my YouTube channel. Subscribe, guys. <laughs> Excellent. No, so plug. First time working with latex. And you produced this mask. That's wow. fantastic. Oh, That's it's really, awesome. really well done. Your eyeballs. I have to ask. Are they like golf balls? Like what are they? Uh, they're actually. I was just like scouring the internet to find some kind of clear sphere. Uh, Christmas baubles, empty Christmas mm. baubles, and it's just got fabric over the top. And so actually, I can't see through that. I, like, I can't see. I'm completely blind. <laughs> Oh, it's good. You've done, you've done awesome. How's the wig sort of attaching to everything? It's, um, it's glued straight to the head. Um, it's a really great to be able to glue a wig to your head because you can just do whatever the fuck. Whatever you want. It makes it a lot easier and it was just, yeah, the mask took me a long time to do, but I oh, like it. Yeah. The pauldrons are amazing, like, we're just supposed to feathers because feathers are so hard to, like, get decent ones. Sorry? I can't hear you. Oh, eBay. Yeah, everything. Yep. Alright, well, step up, have a look at the Step up and forth.